Good afternoon and welcome to the closing plenary session of the first and the good Lord willing last IAC virtual conference. We really would rather prefer to be in person where we can share some time together and talk through some of these things. You know, ideally we'd be doing this out here on some of our tribal land where we can go out and see some of the things that are happening firsthand. And we decided to have this session to kind of wrap up, give the process for what's gonna to happen tomorrow in the membership meeting. And most certainly not least of all, thank the staff, our sponsors, our members, our board of directors, and last but not least, our participants. Without all of you, we wouldn't be able to do this. We wanna give a special shout out to the Cedar Tree Foundation, the Indian Land Tenure Foundation, Farm Credit Services, and the Farm Credit Council, uh, Farmers Legal Action Group, Quivira Coalition, Indigenous Food and Ag Initiative, and the National Sustainable Ag Coalition. Last but not least, the Native American Ag Fund. Those are our champions of native agriculture. They contributed a significant amount of resources, both in personal time and activity and in cash resources to help us pull us off and, and get this wonderful slate of presentations in front of you. Resiliency through agriculture was our theme this year. And we started off with Nick Tilson talking about resilience from a more of a societal or cultural perspective and how in spite of everything, we're still here. And we are beginning the revolution, if you will, that will lead to those better days that he alluded to. The better days for Indian country are in front of us, not behind us. And that's really a great message. We had a good slate of uh, sessions yesterday talking about how to bring some of those practices that we're engaging in out there in our communities, on our farms, on our ranches, in our, in our urban areas to bear in a, way, in a way that helps us capture that societal and cultural resilience. And then we led off today with Nicole Masters talking about the natural resilience of our homelands and really sharing with us, regrounding us in the fact that all of these things that are new to the ag and food systems of colonial America, they're old to us. Regenerative agriculture is just agriculture to us. Uh, climate mitigation practices, that's just caring for mother earth. That's what we've always done and what we always will do. And we followed that up with a great slate of events or sessions today about how do we bridge that gap between the societal resilience and the natural resilience through economic and finance tools, nutritional and health aspects of our food and our ways of going, and through production and conservation innovations. Uh, also, how do we put the policy together that's going to help us make these more easy for our people to attain. Which leads us kind of to the, uh, the culmination of our event and that's tomorrow's membership meeting. As we contemplate how this is gonna the play out, you'll recall we had the caucuses on Monday and we, we allowed everybody to submit their caucus issue through an online form where you could submit your region, your issue and your solution. Because what's really important with, with the work that the IAC is doing and why we are so successful is we don't just complain. If we see a problem or we see a challenge, we identify something that can solve that. And that's really inherent in our native way of doing things. So as we receive those caucus issues, through 5 p.m. today, we will 
we will uh, take a look through them, find out which ones are relevant for the membership to consider so that we can come out of there with a unified set of caucus issues to add to the playbook that we created last year. And that will be the marching orders for the organization for the year. That will guide our program development. It will guide our advocacy and policy making efforts and it will guide our fundraising efforts. So we'll really take a close look at those and the ones that don't really fall under the purview of the membership and providing that guidance to the organization, we will definitely take to heart and we will do what we can to reach out to the submitters to let them know how we're addressing the issues that we're, we're near and dear to them. We're gonna have a couple surveys that we're gonna ask you all to, to please participate in. They're very critical in getting a, a snapshot view of where we're at. One is a follow-up survey to our COVID survey that we did early in, oh, early on in the pandemic. We, we identified there were gonna be some adverse impacts for our individual producers, our tribal production, our tribal food hubs, and our tribal governments. And we had over 300 responses to that survey. We hope to get a similar number of survey responses to that so that we can continue to help federal, state, tribal, and local policymakers in the efforts that we're engaging in to help improve outcomes in light of the pandemic. Another survey that, that will come later on, not too much later on, I'm sure someone's gonna pop into this chat window just how much later on, but we wanna know what you thought of the conference. What would you like to see more of in the conference? Would you like to have more virtual conferences? We're really excited about the library of information that we started last year while we did our in-person conference. And now it's even, it's getting more robust and more diverse. And it really uh, excites us about the opportunity to put on more of these type of events when they're requested, not just when we find the resource to do it. And they tell me that the survey will be ready by the end of the week. So take a look at that, spend a little time with it and let us know what we can do to uh, improve our service delivery to you. I've got uh, a couple other of our staff member in the Zoom side of this meeting. And at this point, I'm gonna, oh, we've got just Carrie here. Carrie, is there anything you'd like to add? You might as well jump on and let everybody see you. You're one of the masterminds behind everything that went on behind the scenes. Uh, very good job. Thank you in person, even though we didn't get to see each other throughout the whole planning purpose, our planning process. Uh, you guys have done a really terrific job of putting this all together for us. Uh, share a few words, your thoughts about the event with all of our membership and our crew out here. Oh, thank you. Um, I am one of many, <laughs> make that very clear, one of many uh, team members who put in a lot of time and effort into get, putting this all together. Um, it was new territory and a daunting task, but it just seemed, seemed to come together really well, I thought. And it's really exciting to be able to go back and watch the sessions that we weren't able to see because there was, there was a wealth of knowledge shared and um, it's exciting to be able to go back and look um, something that we are not able to do at our in-person session. But I just really want to thank all of our sponsors, our partners, and especially our members. You know, we're here working for you because of you uh, every single day. And we're really proud of our work and um, it's on, on your behalf. So just a big thank you to our membership. Um, our recordings will be available for 90 days on our event site, and then we're going to be transferring those recordings to our YouTube channel and our Mighty Network platform, so, um, so just be aware of that, and we welcome everybody to get on and, and watch those recordings. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, Carrie, and don't hesitate to reach out if there's something that you would like more information about 
one of the sessions where they had material up there that you wanted to get a copy of, reach out to me, Zach at Indian Ag, Carrie at IndianAg.org. Any of us will help you get that information. So just a quick word about our membership meeting tomorrow. And that's going to be in this Zoom format, correct, Carrie? It's not going to be over on the C event side. So if you are a delegate appointed by your tribe, you will get a separate invite to come right into a Zoom meeting. Is that the way it's going to happen? I think so. And you will get an email from the crew here about how that's going to play out if you are that named delegate for your tribe. And we will try to have the caucus issues put together in a actionable format for you during that event so that we can make the most of everybody's time while we've got you there. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that we've got a storytelling event that one of our, that several of our staff members have actually put a lot of time in to help our people better frame our conversation through our natural inclination towards storytelling. And that will be this evening at, I gotta get my calendar open, bear with me. Today, starting at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. We'll be there a little early to start that off. And we look forward to having as many of you there as would like to listen in to the great storytellers that we've assembled who are gonna share their story of their journey in food and agriculture. Uh, with that, I believe that's about all we've got for you in this plenary session. We wanna encourage you to reach out to the IAC. If there's anything we can do to help you, Akiptan CDFI, Four Bands Community Fund, our, other, our sister CDFI. We're here to help, we're here for you, and without you, we wouldn't be able to do anything for anybody. So enjoy the rest of the afternoon. We'll see some of you tomorrow at the membership meeting, see a bunch of you tonight at the storytelling competition. Be on the lookout for surveys, and we look forward to seeing you in person.